Hello darlings. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and if you're another YouTuber, let me know down in the comments and I will sub you back. And now for the video. Hello darlings. Today is a Rossi Dip Powder video. Your girl and some of the other glitter girls that I know are newly assigned Rossi ambassadors, so congrats everyone. Yes, yes. So here's my second ever code. It's my full name, all capitals, no spaces, Brandy Ortiz with an I. Um, please go check out their website. This is the first product of theirs that I have ever tried. I had a good time with it, but I had a little snafu, but y'all see, you'll see. You're used to my mistakes, right? <laughs> Okay, before we get into all that, let's get into some giveaways. Um, Sharif from Just Nailed It, she is doing a She Modern giveaway. Ten winners, seven USA, free international. I think it's $10 for foil art only. Foil art only. <laughs> I can't say it enough. Um, and it is going to be drawn on her birthday, March 15th, which is Sunday. So, yeah, um, get in on that if you want to. Um, and also girly nail 66 once she gets to 1.7k she's going to do a giveaway right now i just checked it's monday morning the 9th and she has 1.66k so she, it looks like she needs another 40 right we could do that we could get that done so repost um you know you can get these little banners from their pages themselves put it in your stories if you don't want to put it on your main page help some nail sisters out and last but certainly not least my friend joe from just joe nail addict she just uh finished up one little giveaway but she's giving away some mccart brushes i believe at 450 and she's having a huge 500 subscriber giveaway so she's not there yet um, I made this the other day. It might be a little dark for the time, and I left the space so that I could use it on Instagram and, you know, put her name in the little space so that you could go to her page and whatnot. Um, but it was just a little something I whipped up real quick. So right now she's at 425, so it hasn't really moved that much. Come on, we got to get her there. Get her there. She is amazing. She's talented. Um, she did have to redraw for one of her giveaways, and I won, and duh, me didn't do the video and put the shit away. So, I'm sorry, Joe. Mwah, mwah. But, please, please, please go check her out. She's awesome, and her giveaways are the bomb. Her stores, like, they don't have the same stuff that we have in the United States. It's just better. It just is. So, um... You know, you could go check that out. As far as I know, it's not live. Um, the only one live is Cherie's. Um, the other two are when they get their type um, drawings. So, you know, keep an eye out. Repost, share, you know, get them there. Show them some love. And, yeah, let's get into these Rossi dip powders. Or powder, I should say. <laughs> Okay, so it came in that plastic wrapping. It was like one of Catherine's packages. It was all tape. So um, it took a minute to take that off. <laughs> um, so there was a little coupon in there as well as the instructions, which I have in my hand now. They come with easy to see pictures, which is very nice with the instructions underneath. Um, pretty much the same as every dip powder the only thing that i saw that was different and y'all know i'm not big in dip powders as far as the chemicals that go with it i usually use a gel base um you put the activator on again after you file it um but besides that it's pretty much you know the regular um the regular dip powder way you know, you apply the base coat, dip into the powder, remove the excess powder, do it until you're happy with the color, apply the activator. I usually do two coats. Um, it says let it dry one minute, air dry, file shape and buff. Usually it's just a nice light buffing. Um, and then clean it with a lint-free cloth or alcohol wipe. Then put another coat of activator, let that dry apply the top coat, apply a second top coat, and that's the end. Um, I do have to say that the top coat was very, very glossy and 
thick. Like, I was expecting it to be watery, and it wasn't. It was really nice, so that was good, at least. Now, I'm just showing you the packaging, all the words, all the bottles. It is a little deceiving because they show four bottles on the thing. I mean, I knew by the size of the package there wouldn't be four bottles in there unless they were uh, powders, unless they were little mini powders. They did pick a nice um, light pink that can be used as um like the rose quartz nails that are going around you could do that very easily with this color um honeymoon it's called i do have to say that the packaging is very nice um you know it's good quality um sorry i keep touching the stuff in the kit as i'm talking <laughs> I know that feedback is awful for you guys, but I'm such a fidgeter. I cannot help it. I try, but I just, oh, it must be um, crazy for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> when I listen to the playback, I'm like, oh, it sounds so loud to me. <laughs> um, so I got the little powder box. Uh, the powder box. See, I keep saying box. I don't know why. Um, I got the, the dip powder jar out and now I'm getting into the liquids. Um, and like I said earlier, I'm not a huge fan on dip powder liquids. I'm just not. Um, they sent the number two base coat, number three activator and number four top coat. I guess this is a trial kit, they call it. Um, so yeah, we're giving it a try, right? I'm going to open up the powder for you, give you a little, uh, yeah, see, I ripped it a little bit. I'm heavy handed. I always break or rip or something. <laughs> I can't help it. I wanted to give you views of everything though, because, you know, I wanted to cover everything. I didn't want to miss anything because, you know, I always leave something out in every review video. There's always something I forget. <laughs> Okay, a long while back, I did a how not to do dip powder video. I had never used dip powders before. I had bought the Born Pretty um, set, you know, like the, the little bottles with the 10 mil powders. Um, and it was a hot mess. I didn't wait for it to dry. So I brushed all the powder with the gel base coat, like into my brush. And it was a brand new brush, my fish brush. Um, and I spilled the activator all over the place. So that is why the bottle that I am using at the moment is in that pink thing, even though I had to stretch it because my ass was not going to be cleaning up that liquid again because it melted right through my gloves. That's the born pretty one, not this one, but that's what made me go to the gel base coat. So <laughs> now I do have to admit that the base coat has a strong smell. It really does. Um, I brought the bottle to my nose and it made my eyes water. And dumb old me, I opened it, put it right to my nose and went like that. <laughs> You'd think you would like get a little wafting first. Like I should know, right? Because it's chemical, you know, so duh. So anyways, I am taking the base coat. I'm applying a even layer not not too thin not too thick you know just medium all around um but you want to make sure that it is the same all over like you don't want any bumps or bents or missed spots or anything like that because once you dip it you'd have to try to correct it with the next base coat and it gets all complicated so just pay attention from the start because that was another thing i did in that video that video is a hot mess. It's really old, but it's in my playlist. So if you want to check it out, go right ahead. Now what I did here, oh yeah, spilled like a big old thing right on the top. You like that? <laughs> I wanted to show the two methods. Actually dipping the nail into the powder and then the, um, the pour method, which is what I'm doing. And they do have like fancier ones that like, um, I saw it in Kira Sky. I don't know if like AliExpress has gotten onto it yet, but it's like you pour the powder in and then you take like a tray out of the bottom. So you're reusing the same powder. This is just the ghetto way of doing that. Okay. <laughs> um, and I did do these, um, some on a clear nail tip and some on a natural nail tip because I wanted to see the difference of the color and 
Um, I mean, they're, they're both plastic. I was going to say how they perform, but they performed well. I mean, it's the same base material for the most part. But it was, a, you know, I made a mess. It was fun. <laughs> I always spill something, right? <laughs> and here I am again, just going through with the pour method. It was just funny when that plopped out like that. I was just like, ugh. And I just kept going because, you know, stuff happens. And yeah, it's a very, very pretty color. It, when it's in the jar, it just didn't come across as much. But once it was finished, I really do like it. I really do. I'm sorry I'm out of screen. I hate when I do that. I'm sorry. If you are still here, please hit that like button. I know this is a longer video, but I did want to include the dip and the pour method. Um, I left some of the filing and buffing in there. I just wanted to point out that I prefer a firmer brush to a looser brush when it comes to dip powder because I want to make sure that I'm getting all those extra particles off um, because you don't want it attaching to the brush um, and then ruining your brush. So make sure it's completely dry. Brush off all that extra. And that's right, I'm brushing it right into that tray. I don't even care. We don't waste around here. We save. We save and re we reuse, repurpose. Yes, we do. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already because you will miss my videos. If you don't, they will just fall through the YouTube cracks because of the algorithm. It's just how it is. So if you enjoy my videos, please hit the, the bell as well. Now I'm just making sure that everything is dry. There is no extra powder coming off. Um, and I am going in with the second coat. I don't know if you could tell, there was a little bump on the side, on the left hand side. Um, so I was going to make sure that that area specifically, you know, that's what I meant when um, I said an uneven pour or, um, you know, when you dip it, sometimes the material, uh, the base gets like pushed up or to the side and it'll leave like a bump and you kind of have to pat it down. It happens a lot with gel. Um, and it did happen with this as well. Um, I'm not sure why it was that particular side. Um, I mean, it's, I might have even hit it against the side of the, of the, the tub. Who knows? <laughs> so here I am going in with the second coat. Um, and I did want to show every single step too. So I'm just trying to make it even, um, but still catch any kind of um, bumps or ridges that might be there. I don't recall there being any except for that one part um, on the other one, on the dip one. But with the pour method, you can pay attention more to exactly how much powder is needed and in what part. Um, I When I dip, I do leave it in there for a few seconds to absorb whatever powder needs to be absorbed, but there are times I pull it out and look at it after and it still has that wet look, so I just put it right back in. Um, but with the pour, you can tell right away whether you need to keep pouring or not, and I just like that, that control. It is a little bit more messy and you do use a bit more product, but I think the pour method works better. Um, with with these or with a gel base, regardless. Um, okay, so while I'm doing this, I'm going to get into some of the pricing. And I am not going to lie, it is a little bit expensive. Um, it's, it's, it's pricey for my pocket. But I had a wonderful time playing with their products. And with the 20% off code, it makes it affordable instead of just pricey. Um, this set is $34.99. You get the three bottles and the powder. You can choose between four different powders. This one, uh, Pink Mood, which is a darker pink. Sweetheart, which is a baby pink. Snow White, which is white. Um, or you can get all the powders together with the liquids, and that is $57.99. Um, the powders by themselves are $12.99. They also have poly gel, 30 mil bottles, $8.99, which I haven't tried anything but this. So I can't speak for their poly gel or their gel polish. 
gel polish is $9.99 as well. Um, but with the 20% off, like I said, it becomes affordable. Even if it's still a little pricey, it's affordable. But I cannot give my recommendation on it because I haven't tried it. So um, here I am dusting again, just to make sure, just to make sure. Um, because, you know, I did do the second coat, so that's super important. Okay, so now we're going to get into the activator. Now, this is what I spilled last time. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> um, the activator and the top coat didn't have such a harsh smell. I mean, there was a smell, but it it doesn't smell like regular nail polish, but it is comparable to the amount of smell, if that makes sense. Um, so I love when I get the activator and I put it on the nail and when I first touch it, it like just, the nail just sucks it up. I think that's so cool. I was trying to show it right here, but it really didn't work. <laughs> I mean, I go through my phone and it's a Samsung S9. So I don't know. I mean, I don't have a real camera to do it. I wouldn't even know how to set it up if I did. Um, so yeah, this is what I got. <laughs> I hope you like it because, yeah, and if you are still here, thank you if you are new or if you are a true darling. Um, thank you for coming and staying and still watching now. <laughs> I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Um, I want to give a shout out to Miss Helen Evans. She is a peach. I love you. Mwah, mwah. Um, so I did two coats of activator and they were very, very heavy. Um, you know, not enough so that it would splash off the nail, but I wanted to make sure it was going to get down into those layers and really activate. You know, I only did the two coats, uh, but I think they came out very, very nice. Um, just with that, I am using my favorite file that my friend, Miss Catherine sent me from Catherine Ford nails. I won her giveaway a while back, her 100 subscriber giveaway. I think it was 100 and this file came in it and I love it. it is my favorite with the lips I didn't even want to use it at first because I didn't want to use it and have it be gone but she did send me a few more so I am very happy and it costs her she lives in Canada and let me tell you you think shipping is expensive in the United States shipping to Canada or shipping from Canada is so much money I can't even I can't even literally I can't so, like, I don't have enough money to. <laughs> but anyways, I filed and buffed them. I wanted to make sure that the surface was smooth. I didn't put too much pressure. I'm working on how to figure out what is the right pressure to not leave marks in dip powder, acrylic, poly gel, everything. Because I'm so heavy-handed that, you know, I'm just filing away as hard as I can, whether it's e-file or hand file, and I keep getting these marks. So it is definitely something that I need to work on. Um, I, you are supposed to put another layer of activator on before you put the top coat, but I didn't do that because, you know, I'm a dummy. But I was already, you know, past the instructions and all that. I was just doing it, you know? <laughs> Um, so I did one top coat. Everything was fine. I let it dry. I went to do the second top coat and the brush had hardened into a big rock. Um, I used it, put it right back into the bottle and screwed in the bottle because I am very, very careful about not spilling stuff when it comes to these kind of, um, products, right? So I don't know if I didn't close it tight enough. Or if I didn't wait, I don't know. I mean, I couldn't be, because I didn't put the activator again. I was going to say I didn't wait long enough for it to dry. But, I don't know. I mean, I wiped it with a lint-free wipe. Um, and I'm going to show you now. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but, like, the brush doesn't brush. It's just like a big, hard rock. Um, so, I finished most of them off camera, but I did want to show you again using it, um, trying to clean it up, but it literally was just putting ridges in the nail. Can you see that on the thumb? 
and I didn't want to take one of my brushes and ruin it because that's what would happen if I dipped it into that bottle. Now, I haven't contacted the company yet um, because I'm sure they're going to say it's a user error. That's usually what I get when I ask about stuff like that. I don't know if this company will be like that, and I am going to reach out to them to find out. But I was able to finish these nails just fine. The top coat is really beautiful and glossy, though. This is a gel top coat at the end. I had originally left in the water decals and the stones, but since this video is so long already, I didn't want to make it any longer. Um, I did end up putting um, gold flakes on the thumb and the pinky, and you can tell just by looking at it now that the three clear ones are more pink than the two um, natural tips. The arrows are showing the ones with the natural tips. Um, I felt like it needed a little more, so, you know, I put some of that gold foil on there. I think it came out really, really cute. I like the color. The whole process was good, even though I'm not great with dip powder chemicals. Um, I don't know what else to call it. Normal dip powder system versus gel. Um, but I had a good time. I had some spills, you know, had a little mishap, but it, it's cool. It's all good, right? It's all nail art. So, um, don't forget to, to check out the three ladies I mentioned in the beginning for their giveaways. Um, Cherise is live, just nailed it. The other two, once they hit their mark, then the giveaway goes. So, Go check them out. If you're not subscribed, go subscribe. Enter their giveaways. Stay to see some awesome content because all three ladies are fabulous. Fabulous! My affiliate link to the Rossi website will be left in the description box. If you go through there, the discount code 20% off um, Brandy Ortiz, that will be taken off automatically. And that way I get my little kickback. So if you do want to order some Rossi products, please consider using my link. It'll save you some money. It'll give me a little money and everybody will be happy. So <laughs> you can use the code separately as well. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a marvelous day. And thanks again. Mwah.